Hello and welcome back to the Misfits Podcast, rated five stars on iTunes by Gimme Pro, please. He hmm. says, this podcast is great for blocking out the noise of my wife cheating on me in the room next to mine. Cuck. Almost mm. not like it's happening. I can play the tears off as happy and joy from laughing. Cuck. Thanks, guys. That's hey. fucked. Cuck. That's great. I mean, he's found the great solution to his problem. Yeah, true. It, it could be true. worse. He could, like, m- do a double murder-suicide and put the bodies in a freezer. Uh, well, we're demonetized. Join today by Swagger Souls. <laughs> Hi, how are yeah, you? You, you <laughs> know, wait, 30 seconds, Swagger. 30 seconds. <laughs> also by Toby on the tally. Hi. Mason, a.k.a. Zuckles. G'day, boys. And special guest. He's returned Woo! for his fifth episode. Yeah. Woo! I'm it's, sweaty. I think you just bucks. touched some liquid. Mm. Smell that? Yeah, you smell it. Is it, it really five? I don't know if it is five. It's his fifth. I don't it think it's five. Four. You know, I think it's, it's four. Fifth. Bucks has been on the pod. This is your fifth time because we did the acid podcast with you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Then we did, weren't, weren't, wasn't he on camping as well? Or am I crazy? You're I think crazy. crazy. No, never mind. He wasn't on camping. Oh. It's been no, I left just before that. Mm. This is the he, was, he was LSD, and then he was golf, yeah. and food then poisoning. Food, food poisoning, poisoning. Mm-hmm. And, and then now. And then now. Okay, so the maybe four. it's your fourth. It is his fourth time. In any case, Bucks is our most reoccurring guest on the show. I think it's five, you know. <sighs> we'll, we'll figure it Shut out. Shut the fuck up. It doesn't really it matter. Five. Uh, the, the point is, it's five. is that it's great to have you back on the show, man. Mm. Whenever we have Bucks on the show, you know there's a good little story to come along with it because we just see you a lot stop it fucking <laughs> <laughs> up the audio sponsored by g sups always brought to you G-Sups. by g what's the code mason code misfits you already know what, what it is what percentage do you get off yeah Can I have 10 percent nice nice yeah, not bad yes. this is a new flavor it's lemonade <laughs> can i uh, taste like some? lemon yeah have some of those blue raz dude this shit's fire is this blue uh yeah it's blue yeah, it's, it's the a blue new flavor raz. i'm drinking it right now anyway the lemonade dude Gamersups.gg. The lemonade or the, the blue? Blue the Raz. Blue raz. I like Ooh, the lemonade over the blue raspberry. Blue raspberry. Blue raspberry. I love a good raspberry. Gamersups.gg code misfits. Uh, okay, we got a little story for you guys. We got to talk about TwitchCon finally. Bruh. It was like two weeks ago now, but we just, <laughs> so long ago. We just haven't gotten around to fucking talking about it, so we're going to do it now. It's weird because TwitchCon was a giant bender and... Similarly, PAX was also a giant bender. So it's Define been, bender. I. Uh, many days in a row where you smoke and drink i mean it's basically just been two to three weeks of chaos Mm -hmm. i feel and uh it's we're finally coming to the end of it but we're still (laughs) here well, are you good, Bucks? <laughs> you are right. He is struggling with the game results. Why is this so long? I don't. It's, it's, it's like a, a fucking long it's game. It's a new thing. I don't know why it's bent. I Did think you the spoon fuck it up. I, is no, it I bent didn't... in both of them? Oh, no. Uh, okay, <laughs> that was just fine. All right. Well. Uh, in any case, guys, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna tell you the story of our TwitchCon adventure. Can we do that, boys? Do you think we can get around? I to think that? we can do that. We're a little wacky because everyone here is a little sleep deprived. Mm-hmm. It's early on a Saturday. And I haven't eaten anything, so it's going to be. I a offered fun you one. some salmon, no, but like, avocado, what bagel. I, what I said to Mason was, I feel like if I don't eat, then I'm going to have this weird, like, primal energy where I'm like seeking food. You know what I mean? Like the like, imagine you've, you know, like, do you know what I'm talking about? Jamie, pull that no, up. I, I I know what you're talking about because I go to the gym every day. So sometimes <laughs> I wake up weird and flex. I'm just like, you know, what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna eat. I'm gonna go to the gym, have some pre-workout. Do like five hours in the gym. Five hours. Get back to the apartment. You know, sometimes when shit. I uh, have something I need to do in my life, uh, I just won't eat for eight hours. <laughs> and uh, that primal urges that I have in my body will get me through it. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be okay. Look, I'm not a scientist, all right? But I feel like in the morning, if you until you eat something, you have like an energy about you. It's like you're seeking food. And so your body's like, let's get that fucking food. So you're a little wired from it, you know? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I start streaming and then halfway through the stream, remember that I forgot to eat before the stream and I hadn't eaten anything all day. Yeah. And and it doesn't feel like I'm tired. I know what you mean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is completely accurate. And that's the state of mind that I'm in right now. And it's going to make for a really good good podcast. Okay. You agree, Mason? I agree. Okay. Let's begin the story. So Mason, how was TwitchCon? (laughs) <laughs> oh, it was fucking sick. We like did mad shit. Yeah, <laughs> fucking like we did like heaps of benders and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, heaps of benders. And fucking like we just ate heaps of like fucking like food and that. Yeah, we yeah. did eat food. We did eat and like food. I didn't shit blood this time in America, which oh, was okay. pretty good. That's good. That's that is good. 
awfully poker as I medicine. had to punch a couple cunts' heads in at Twitch Hong Kong. I don't oh. remember that yeah, happening. Did you say Twitch Hong Kong? What did you say? <laughs> I said I had to punch a couple cunts' heads in fucking Twitch Kong because they were talking mad <laughs> shit. That's what I said. Okay. Mason didn't come to Twitch Kong. Yeah, yeah, he, he, wasn't wasn't there. There. he wasn't there. Get me arc. Yeah, wait. Oh, yeah, I wasn't. Fuck. Oh, true. So you have to be on question duty. You just have to ask us questions. <laughs> if nothing makes sense, be like, what the fuck was that? You think you can do that, Mason? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, ask right. us anything at any point interrupt us oh all right. all right well for starters how many edibles did you have collectively i uh, i didn't touch many edibles while i was there only for the flights Every, i was offered a lot a lot of the time but i, I just few. decided i was just gonna smoke i didn't even take any dabs or anything it was just i was literally just smoking green the entire time probably the Sensible. safer alternative yeah because yeah. uh those edibles over there definitely fuck your shit oh up. yeah yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah i don't think me and bucks can say the same yeah i mean do we want to tell the story chronologically or do we want to just kind of just think about the best highlights where, what do, where do we start if it is chronological well, I, I don't fucking remember the end week. <laughs> well, we probably because st- we met you in America, obviously. We so we began our story back here, catching a flight. You know, yep. we did edibles for that. The flight. Jordan Pretty- missed the flight. Jordan missed the flight. Oh but my goodness! Yeah, wait, we, he missed the flight. Yeah, dude. So we go to the airport, and there's like eight or nine of us. Ryan was already in L.A., so he wasn't there to be our dad. So we had uh, intern Chris do that instead, and uh, he did an okay job besides spelling my first name wrong. Yeah, uh, which had a few I, problems at the desk. Yeah, my first name was spelled wrong. I don't know how the fuck you spell it wrong. How do you spell Eric wrong, you know? Like it's, it's fucking so ridiculous. Easy. You spell it with a K. All that is. Ugh. And then, Idiot. so I had to get that fixed up because it didn't match my passport. And I was worried I was going to miss the flight. Uh, we had uh, Jordan, who's another assistant of ours, uh, he's like, come He's with. not really an assistant. He's kind of just one of Ryan's friends he's, that just yeah, does things. He's you, like a minion. It, yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah. You just tell him to do something. He's like, yeah, okay. And he rips a bong and does it. Mm. But uh, before we left, he had we, we were at the office first. And so we all had our bags and shit, and we start leaving, and everyone everyone goes. Uh, Jordan has a bunch of edibles at the office, and then he rips the bong two times. Yeah. And then we get to the airport. I figure out my passport's all fucky and that my name was wrong, so I'm fixing that. And then Jordan just goes, oh, I left my bag in the Uber. Oh, shit, my passport's in the bag. So we have the he's Uber. He's freaking out because yeah. like, he took edibles before he went to and the airport for ripped. some reason. And he was ripped. And he uh, and he's like, dude, my fucking bag is in here. So Chris gets the Uber guy to come back, and they're like, nah, we don't have, we don't have the backpack. He left yeah. it at the fucking office. Immediately, so, as soon as I was like, the, as soon as I heard this was happening, I was like, "All right, Jordan's gone. Like, he's not coming. Like, there's no way he's gonna yeah, make this flight. Make the flight." I immediately made that separation. I was like, "Fuck, Jordan. We're continuing <laughs> with our journey." And we just, well, I mean, we got your thing sorted. Yeah, out my shit was sorted pretty easily. Jordan went to. Wait, so he um, flew alone. Yeah, he flew day. alone the next day. The next day, but I mean, aside from that, it was relatively drama free, and we mm-hmm. took our edibles before security. We went on through. I was vibing very much like before we got on the flight. Like, I enjoyed I was, it. It was, ki- it was kicking in. I was listening to my music. And then, yeah, we, w- we went on our flight and it was long and I didn't really sleep. Yeah, you didn't sleep at all. You were just kind of no. chilling to your music for 14 hours. Yeah. And I, I went right to sleep, you like maybe an hour into the flight. I was really jealous. Much the whole thing. I was like in a weird state of just like hibernation. Like I, was, I wasn't asleep, but I wasn't really awake either. You didn't sleep at all? I slept maybe like 45 minutes, I think. So I was pretty dead. 45 minutes? Yeah, pretty he was dead. Pretty How many edibles dead. did you eat? I ate twice as much as he did. Yeah, and I only had one and I was out. Yeah. So did I, you like just wake up and then went to the airport? Yeah, it was a okay. it was a morning situation. Mm-hmm. However, uh-huh. like, I don't know. Like, I should have been able to sleep. I'm normally pretty I was, good. I was up the whole night playing Cube World. And uh, so that's why I, I probably got my that's sleep. Right. Let's not talk about Cube no, World. No, nope, never again. <laughs> Play it to rest. <laughs> anyway, we get to LA and Ryan messages us and says, okay, uh, go to Motel 6. Mm. This is our meeting yeah. spot. Do you know what Motel 6 is? <clears throat> okay, so I wasn't like, I knew what was happening for you guys, but I didn't, I wasn't there for it. Yeah. But yeah, keep going. Keep okay, going. so Motel 6 is this kind of shitty motel. It's like an Econo Lodge. It's like just a budget shitty hotel that mm, people motel. stay at. It, what the, what's the difference? Motels are shit. Hotels are good. Okay. <laughs> the really difference matter. in M and an H mix. Mm. Well, no, genuinely, that's how it works. In, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. it doesn't really matter. It's, it we're, was we're, just we're, a shithole. You, you stay there and you get bed bugs for free. That was yes. the pitch. Yeah. <laughs> so I think Ryan was kind of trolling us by 
making us meet up here, make me trying to make us think that we were staying at Motel Six because this place was really Bumpy unusual. Was it was very odd because we were waiting in the lobby, just dead. I was completely dead, um, and there were just NPCs walking through the lobby, mm-hmm. just like constantly, just strange looking people. A lot of people with dogs, a lot of people with <laughs> strange outfits, <laughs> fake <laughs> designer clothing and stuff. Dude in the scooter, man. The fucking fat guy in the scooter. There was this old guy on a mobility scooter that just kept making like the same cycle, like <laughs> down the lift, out the door, did like a lap of the car park, and then came in with the same expression on his face. He's just cracked out on meth. <laughs> he just doesn't, he's been doing that loop for like he was, the last he was three waiting for, weeks. He was waiting for someone to go up and ask him to get a side quest. Yeah, oh. literally. <laughs> he probably had like about five lines of dialogue, and we could have got them if we interacted, but we are old. This dude pulled up to this economy motel in a fucking Lamborghini Huracan. Yeah. And he just sat in his car out the front of the, like, out the front doors for ages. And then eventually came in, bought a, uh, like, bought a room and went in. It was so strange. Yeah. Prostitution. Mm. (laughs) Maybe, but what's he doing with a fucking Lambo? Prostitution. And why (laughs) why Motel 6 if he can afford to rent a Lambo? Because I'm guessing he didn't. Maybe he owned it. I Maybe don't know. he just wanted to impress the prostitute. It is LA. You never know. Was it know like what in the own. films? You know, like those motels in the films? Kind of like in El. Did you watch El Camino the other day? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. like that motel. Kind of like. No, it was like a multi-story. Single, no, like no, one no, story. No. It's tall, but it's shit. Like bootleg it, hotel. No, it was pretty bad. Anyways, we're waiting around and we're waiting for a long time. It was like an hour and a half. Ryan was apparently organizing some kind of surprise for us, but it wasn't going very well, as as always with Ryan P. <laughs> and eventually, after waiting for about an hour, uh, a limo pulls up, like a like a weird. Well, ass, no, what what an it, what, it, what, it what had <laughs> happened was Chris was like, okay, well, we're not waiting. Like, we're just gonna order Ubers and chuck it in the back, and we'll just go to Ryan's Airbnb. And so we order two Uber XLs. One of them comes. We start putting all of the luggage in the bag. And then as we put the last bit of luggage in the back of this Uber, the fucking this eight wheel Cadillac limo rolls up along with the Rolls Royce. And then we're like, oh, that's for us. Isn't it? <laughs> and, then, and so Chris had to go. Oh, sorry, man. We need to take all of our <laughs> luggage back out of the car and I'm going to have to cancel. The guy was so pissed off. Yeah. And I mean. It might sound like a flex that we had this limo and this Rolls Royce pull up. <laughs> they weren't very nice. <laughs> were they not? I don't imagine they were very expensive to rent. Neither do I. They no. were quite old and uh, clearly some cocaine had been done in that limo. The limo, times. the limo was cool, but it was really small and cramped, and there was nowhere to put your legs. Oh, small is not mm. like it was. It was huge, but the inside sucked. Yeah, it yeah. was. Yeah. It was a long limo, but it was the dating. width was weird. Out, outdated interior. It was like a facade of wealth, you know. It's uh-huh. like the kind of thing that you would rent to go to prom if you, your uh-huh. parents didn't yeah. really have a lot of money. It had eight to... wheels, but only four of them were. Yeah. Oh. So like, it was just this whole situation. So, we... <laughs> it was a big group of us. It was me, Fitz, Toby, Chris, B, I, uh, Kirsten, Jeremy, and. Who else? Was Manuel there? I don't know. There's probably Manuel, collectively Jordan, like nine of us or something yeah. like that. Who, who went in the rolls? Uh, it was me, Toby, and Fitz that went to the rolls. Yeah, uh, okay. Very comfortable ride. And yeah. I wanted to originally go in the limo because I was like, oh, Rolls Royce is just a fucking car. You know, I drive in cars a lot. I'll go into the limo because I don't go in limos very often. And Ryan was like, nah, don't get in the fucking limo. Like, I want you in the rolls. And I was like, okay, fine. And so I get in the rolls. And thank <laughs> God I went in the fucking rolls <laughs> because I... Uh, the limo on the way, we had to drive up this massive hill to get to Ryan's Airbnb. And what had happened apparently is the limousine, like the driver of the limo was fucking like cracked out, really weird guy. Yeah, he's crazy. And <laughs> so they're driving up the hill apparently and it broke down. They broke an axle or something yeah, because it what? wasn't supposed to go up. It's because it has hill. four extra wheels that literally do nothing and are just freewheeling. So the uh, yeah the the rear axle stopped working and they couldn't keep going up the hill. Yeah, mm. and so he got really really angry. He got on the phone, was talking to presumably his boss, and he started screaming at him. And then he uh, he opened up the door, had everybody get out of the limo, and then he took out all of the luggage and left them on the side of the road and sped away. Yeah, literally just fucking ditched, ditched them, the ditched fuck? everybody, and like In the I LA heat. <laughs> I just get to Ryan's with Fitz and. Uh, Toby, yeah, you you were there too. And I smoke a a small amount of weed, and then I find out, oh, everyone's stuck down the hill. What the fuck is happening? Mm -hmm. How far away were they? 
They like, were like, like 10 minutes. minutes. Yeah, like yeah, 15 so. minutes down the road. Like walk? No, uh, no drive. drive. Oh. You know, it was all the way down the hill. You know, they weren't going to fucking walk up. And, and yeah, they, I mean, you know, you know, LA Hills, like you're not driving yeah. a limo up. No, there. fuck no. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, that I saw it. That That's not going up. Like, yeah. Maybe halfway max mm. anymore. Mm. It's not coming down. Because <laughs> Ryan's, <laughs> Ryan's Airbnb was practically over. Like they were, they were pretty much getting out of there. And we had check it at four. It was probably around like what, 11? So yep. we, we basically got, I think it was another limo or something. And then, well, no, well, no, well we, got a bunch of, we got a bunch of people together in cars, right? Like in a van. Because I remember we went down. We just got a bunch of cars. And, and then we picked up a bunch of people yeah. and regrouped somewhere. Yeah, yeah, we went to pick them up and they were just standing on the side of the road. Yeah, just we, had, confused. we had like a dinner. <laughs> we, had, we had like yeah, a, the a limo was, dinner. Yeah. The limo wasn't broken. It just couldn't go any further up a hill. But uh, yeah, so they, we just... I went down with Max and Austin, and we we just sat in the limo waiting for you guys while you were sorting out the Airbnb. Yeah, I it mean, wasn't too bad. Nothing really much else interesting happened that day. We kind of were just burnt out. We got lunch together. Although in the uh, in the drive back from lunch, we were, you and me with with Chad and the rolls. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> Chad oh. Chad had this very interesting conversation with the driver about prostitution. Yeah, as Chad Chad loves. Chad loves talking about sex all the time, mm -hmm. and uh, he just obviously gets on the subject with the driver, who was kind of like, he was a nice guy, he was playing think, along. So, like, uh, anyone who knows Chad knows that Chad likes to fuck with people, basically. Chad being anything for anything views. Anything for views, yep. yeah. So, he was like, you could tell that Chad was just trying to ex escalate the conversation to a point where the driver was uncomfortable to fuck he with him. He does it all the time. But, but then, the driver was just, he was... He like, was just on his wavelength. Exactly. It was great. <laughs> he wasn't and, backing uh, down. Yeah, Chad made some joke about prostitution, and then the driver goes, he, he was like, he had a little conversation. And then the driver goes, you know, there's probably there's this place you guys would probably love. Uh, <laughs> he's like, I, I go to this place all the time. It's addictive, and and we were like, addictive. What, huh? what is it? A brothel? And he was like, No, no, it's not a brothel. <laughs> Basically, you you uh, go to this place and, and you get a private room, and you know you can go there. You can sing karaoke and stuff. And then throughout the night, they just send <laughs> girls in. And the girls that you want to stay, you pay. And the ones you don't want to stay, uh, they just leave. And we're like, sounding a lot like prostitution. He's like, no, no, no. No, it's not prostitution. He's like, you pay them to stay, and they can choose to have sex with you if they want to. <laughs> and then see. we're like, so it's prostitution on hard difficulty. Yeah. Well, it's like, it's, so it's like, it's like one a of those, strip club. It's like one of those things. It's like, uh, you know, paying directly for sex is a crime. But what if she picks up a rock off of the ground and I give her five hundred dollars for the rock, and then she's like, "Oh, you're cute. Want to have sex?" Mm, this place mm -hmm. definitely operated in that gray zone. Yeah, yeah. And uh, this guy would just <laughs> refuse to admit that it was basically a brothel. He would say, "No, no, no I don't, no, I don't no, do no. that kind of stuff. And I go every week. Yeah, they have a choice. They have a choice. No, they have a choice, dude. I don't do that sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, but prostitutes <laughs> like have a choice regardless of whether or not they yeah. want to sleep with somebody. He yeah, also talked yeah. about how addictive it was a bunch he's like dude you go once you just keep wanting to go it's so addictive <laughs> <laughs> was like, i can't imagine why so yeah i mean that was a very funny conversation and i mean that's basically the only thing i can remember from that day that was interesting yeah i think we all got to our airbnbs the, we had two uh we had the the huge one uh, and then the other well, huge were, one yeah and the other <laughs> huge one it was toby and fitz and i believe chris that stayed yeah. the at, uh, at the other one mm -hmm. and then i stayed with everybody else mm -hmm. uh, because i wanted to wake up and have people there and not have to you know deal with traffic and get all the way over there i figured it'd be easier if we were all at a group sure so we we crash uh because we're jet lagged next day Oh, actually, that night is when we organized the Pokey podcast for the mm. next day, which we locked in, thankfully. Like, we made that happen, uh, which has gone up now. It's performing very, very well. I watched yeah. it. Nice. It's good. Nice. It was a great really podcast. I watched it on stream. I decided, I was like, you know what would be a good idea if, like, every week when the podcast comes out, did a stream viewing party. Do, is that a good, is, do you enjoy it? Was that a good idea? Yeah, it was, it was cool. cool. The only, the only issue week. with that podcast was the audio. Yeah. But that, a lot of that was out of our control. Because oh. we, we didn't have condenser microphones. We had lav mics that were placed in ways. That Still sounded Honestly, all right. Honestly, yeah. yeah like, it it worked. People have said that. I watched it on the TV. It yeah. sounded great. It's more noticeable in headphones. Yeah, I think. way yeah. more noticeable Definitely. in headphones. Yeah. You know, it was okay. Shame. It it, it works. You could still make it out. Yeah, we did the best with what we could. I had people in my stream being like, "Dude, how does this sound so good?" Huh? Because That's they just weird. assumed it would sound shit. Mm -hmm. I've seen a bunch of people just shitting on the sound. 
Uh, it, I, it's, it's, it's a minority, matter. bro. The podcast yeah. is really received. It was, it's it was over a million. million. Yeah. Yeah. I want, I is it. it over a million now? Yep, easily. Fuck yeah. Yep, yep. No, it's well over. Uh, so yeah, anyway, we shot the Poké podcast. That was good. And then we kind of, I mean, LA was basically just a blur of shopping and weed. I mean, the day <laughs> yeah. before we left for San Diego. <laughs> well, the next... Well, I'm up to do date you want now, to talk so about yeah. I'm all involved. Do you no want to talk about what, what happened to your Airbnb when that band pulled up before the Poké podcast, what they did to you? What we might get a haircut? Yeah. Oh yeah. So like, I really needed a haircut because I my beard was just fucked up. Like it was just fucked up. <laughs> and uh, I'm thinking like, okay, how do I, how am I gonna get a fucking haircut? Uh, and Ryan goes, no worries, I got you. And he organizes this van to like come up to the Airbnb, which is like in the in Beverly Hills, like way up top on this private road. Uh, and I'm thinking like, okay, this would be interesting. Never got my hair cut in a fucking van before. Wait, in in the van. Yeah, literally. Like they took you in the van. Van in a rolls van. up. Van rolls up. Doors open. It's a straight up barber shop. Yeah. It's a straight up barber shop in the van. It's, it's one of those huge fucking box. so it a big cool. Van? A huge. It's one of the mm. big Mercedes. Sprinters. What was the What was the name? Was it a Sprinter? Yeah. Okay. It was fucking. Did awesome. they have some quirky? There was one guy. Name. It's his own business. I have no idea what the business was. Otherwise, I give him a shout out. He was a very nice guy. As he was cutting my hair, and the place was like, it was a very like lush inside as well. There were like champagne bottles and like leather seats. And like, like, there were three TVs and it they were like, all- It looked like were, a room. There were three TVs and they were all playing the Cosby show for some reason. So the entire time I was getting my hair cut, I was just looking at the fucking Cosby show. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you even watch the Cosby show without going like, he drugged and raped? I was thinking woman. that the entire time. Just it made me, it very yeah, entertaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're in a van, <laughs> just some random van. I was in a van. With the doors closed? Yes. Uh, no, they were Damn. open. We were going in and out. Yeah. Uh, but he was a very nice guy. It was, and he gave me a dope cut as well. Probably like one of it the best sick. cuts I've ever had. Dope cut. Um, well, he cut a celebrity's hair. Well, he, he was telling me that he, he like cuts George Clooney's hair. So Does I think he he's get it cut in a van as well. Or? Probably because I think a lot of celebrities don't want to go to a barber shop, right? Yeah. So they just have a guy come to their house. I mean, you, what do you really need to cut hair besides a chair and the tools, right? So yeah, you can kind of do it anywhere. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you got products. You know, you need a good like wash and dry station. You yeah, know, like but one you of can, those special bowls with a dip in, and then the fucking neck cushion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we can put it in a you can put it in a van. Beautiful, you know? we get it. You can put it in a van. Anyway, the guy killed it. Gave me a good cut. And yeah, that was a very interesting LA. I, yeah. feel, I never felt more LA than that. Like having a guy uh -huh. pull up on a van and getting my fucking hair cut in the top in this. of Beverly Hills. It was like a rapper, some rapper shit. And that's what it felt uh -huh. like. <laughs> I took fizz shopping and felt like a like a personal stylist. Yeah. It was so much fun. Yeah, I spent way mm. too much money on clothes because of you. Yeah, I'm, but, I'm good at that. Well, I don't know, LA is expensive. Mm. I come here and I went to, what was that shop that you did the video? At? Secret Sneaker Store. Yeah, we went, I went there with Rish. And it was like, fuck, it's like really cheap. Mm. All of this stuff, if you go to Melrose or like anywhere in LA, it's just so expensive. And then you have tax on top. Yeah. So I'm just going to mm. shop here, I think, from now on. There's less variety here, but you mm -hmm. know, whatever. Anyway, shopping's boring. Uh, yeah. Let's We'd, talk about what happened that night before we left for San Diego. Uh, Speaking of edibles. Fuck. It was me and Buck still, a little cheeky one. Yeah, how much did you do? Well, we got drugged. Wait a minute. We got drugged. Was, we got it, drugged. was this the night of the mannequin or was that a separate night? I, th I think you were gone for that. I wasn't there for a mannequin. Okay. There was this fucking creepy ass 1950s styled mannequin that was in our Airbnb. <laughs> and uh, there was just this joke because everyone was really, really stoned and drunk, just completely blasted. And so people would move this mannequin around. I started moving it around <laughs> and placing it in different like parts. Mm -hmm. And and people were like, there was a master switch, so people could click it, and and, and all the lights would turn off. Mm -hmm. So like there was just this meme of like, dude, I swear to God, there's a ghost. Like the house is haunted, and uh, I just kept moving the mannequin. And then everyone like kind of started getting in on the bit, but there were people that still weren't. Uh -huh. So like I would move the mannequin, and then I'd go somewhere with everybody else, and then we'd go back upstairs, and the mannequin is moved, and we just it, it was just like where the fuck's the mannequin? <laughs> it was going everywhere. It was behind curtains. It was in front of doorways. It was in the bathroom. And it was fucking hilarious, it's and it was fucking terrifying. Bathroom mannequin, but why is there a mannequin at Ryan's I was right just now? About to bring that <laughs> up. I, I shat myself the other night. I walked in like three a.m. to the downstairs bathroom. Someone put the fucking mannequin like perfectly in reflection of the yeah. mirror, like next to the toilet. It was in the bathtub. <laughs> Holy fuck! Yeah, so I opened the door scary. and I'm like, whoa, like fuck. And then when I go 
to go out to leave i look in the mirror and the door's open and you can see the reflection of it like it looks like it's peeking through the doorway because <laughs> of the reflection of the like mirror like, Whoa, what the fuck? yeah manager ryan just has a collection of weird things at his Dude, house and one of them is a mannequin it's, it's, no, it's, it's, a, got no it, arms it's a mannequin wearing a bunnings uh apron? smock yeah, yeah. An apron. <laughs> and it used to have the, the the stuffed panda head on it but i guess they yeah. took it off it's much more terrifying with just the mannequin head yeah it, it scared me like three yeah. times because it someone was mo- someone was moving it in the bathroom as well so it started out in the tub and it got me i was like fuck and then i was like okay, then it was standing up and then it was like right next to the toilet so i opened the door the next time i look at the tub it's not there and i'm like oh great <laughs> i walk in fuck <laughs> <laughs> got me a second time and then, I mean, obviously I was high, so it got yeah. me a third time I somehow. Mean, yeah. He's got the mannequin and the Galileo, the giant velociraptor. Uh, His house is a madhouse. That, that's my fault. And then he used to have an eagle, which is now at our house. The which, dinosaur I was driving past, I was driving them to inspect offices one day, and I was like, whoa, is that a, is that a giant dinosaur? And Ryan just goes, pull over. <laughs> Stop the car. How much? How much right. was that dinosaur? It was like two grand. Fuck. I, Ryan is I an have absolute, a feeling it was a lot more than that. I think it was three. He's, he's an called, idiot. He's an head back idiot. to LA. Back to LA. Back to the story at hand. Uh, yes. Yeah, so we're all together. We're having a little shindig at the Hollywood Hills Airbnb. That wasn't just a shindig. That was like a. That was way bigger of a night than I thought it was going to be. Because we're up mm. at five a.m. and everyone was still up and yeah, high it was as fuck, run. drinking like fuck. Everyone was like either drunk or high or both. Yeah. And it was a good night. <laughs> there's some random people there that I don't even think I really met properly, and they were just kind of dead on the sofa upstairs. Hmm. I what feel like I knew fun. everyone there. We had like a dinner first, and that was nice. And then, yeah, we went back to the Airbnb, and uh, we're drinking. And we everyone was aware we had to be up at like 11 the next day mm. to go to San Diego. But, you know, we didn't really... <laughs> who cares about tomorrow, right? <laughs> so at one point in the evening, someone comes up to... Bucks and myself. Wait, this was at 5 30 a.m. No, by the it way, wasn't, it was wasn't like 5 a.m. It was so late. It I, was, I feel very, like by the time late. we did this, it was like around three, and then maybe like because I went home. When, what time five. did you go home before I five? Don't, I don't know, but anyway, at some point, very early in the morning, Bucks and I were approached and uh, by Jordan asked, asked the daunting Jordan. question Would you guys like to do an edible? And Bucks and me looked at each other, we were like, like yeah. I yeah. Sounds All good. Right, not that much though. Yeah. Not that much. Little amount. Little amount. No, like twenty five MG? Twenty five MG and we're like, Yeah. Eh, twenty five. Yeah, that's nothing. That's what we've been fine. there. <laughs> so they give us these two little pills, which at the time I thought was a gummy. And I put it in my mouth and I crunch and like immediately regret it because my mouth is just filled with liquid. It was like a capsule with liquid oh. inside it. And then everyone's like, did you just chew it? I was like, yeah, I thought it was a gummy. It tasted so bad. I just like chugging water, trying to get it down. Ugh. You didn't make the same mistake. Did but, I, I don't no, even remember. No, you did, you did, you did. <laughs> um, but anyway, one way or another, the edible was consumed. And then about five minutes later, Ryan just starts laughing and going, People you giggling. guys fucked up. <laughs> you guys fucked up. We were like, what are you talking about? And then they go, it was a hundred mg. <laughs> we didn't realize. A fucking no. Power so pill. what? What happened the next day? Jordan revealed <coughs> that. Uh, so Ryan uh, will always try to like jokingly try to fuck with people. Like he'll give them this thizzy, which is like a weed vape, and say that it's a nicotine vape. You know, just to fuck with them. Uh, and Jordan was like, "Oh, I want to fuck with people." So he got the hundred milligram pills, knowing they were hundred milligrams. And he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get fits and fits and uh, bucks. And then, apparently, like a, a couple minutes after he gave them to you, he just instantly regretted it. And that was how Ryan found out because yeah. he was like, "Fuck, this was a terrible idea. Why did I do it?" And he told Ryan, <laughs> literally yeah. drugged you. I mean, it's, yeah. it's to be fair, it's not a very cool thing to do. You know? No, yeah. like, no. Yeah, evidently the next day we were fucked. You, Everyone you were absolutely like, destroyed. Well, we thing, both slept the whole way. I think. Well, yeah. I mean, after we did it, you and I were panicking when we found out it was a hundred. And we kind of went on a little quest, remember, to find Ryan because Ryan was just missing. He went missing for uh-huh. some reason. <laughs> All he, he just took, he, he just went to take a shower. But to you and I, we were like, this is a mystery and it must be solved. And we were looking around this entire Airbnb, which had multiple stories, like opening doors, looking inside. I was like doing a funny like accent the whole time. It was, it was very, and then we went downstairs and we were kind of just like, are we going to be OK? Like, are you and I, are we actually going to be OK tonight? And you, we couldn't dis- we couldn't discern. We could not discern. Uh, I decided to go home for my own good, and I think that the edible hadn't even kicked in at this point. Like no, I was, it wasn't. It like didn't. it took a while. Um, 
In I fact, I don't even think it kicked day. in. It didn't kick, it didn't in, kick in until, until the, the bu- until like the morning. Well, I, I think it kicked in while I was asleep. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, wo- I went to bed. Getting up was so hard. I couldn't physically open my eyes. Oh, they were no. fucking just like. Yeah. It was like literally doing like a fucking pull up with my eyelid. I went to bed at like 6 a.m. and then I wake up and you know LA apparently just doesn't fuck with curtains <laughs> and like this so all my windows were open and the sun was just blaring into my room and I look at my phone and I'm like oh we have to leave in an hour and all my stuff is like unpacked and I'm in the wrong Airbnb <laughs> so I just get up I get in the shower I shower with my windows open exposed the entirety of LA just completely fucked off my face on this hundred milligram edible which is now <laughs> kicked in and I'm just like somehow dude I got it together like I just went through my motions it was very blitzed. surprising you know, after I found out. Because I woke up that morning and I go upstairs and Bucks is on the couch looking straight up, just like <laughs> this. I was just trying to keep my yeah. eyes open for and, more than and, like and 10 seconds. Like, please, and I'm like, please, please. And I'm please. like, hey, hey, what's going on, Bucks? And I dap him up and he just goes, I'm so fucked up. And I was like, <laughs> why? What happened? And then he goes, I got drugs. Someone gave me 100 milligrams last night. And I thought it was like 15. Yeah. And I was like, oh, are you still high? He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was just the start. That lasted a long time. It did. It lasted all day. Literally well, all day. We had to be back at the original Airbnb mm-hmm. at 11 for the party bus, which is what was going to transport us to... San Diego. San Diego, which didn't sound very fun, you know, when you're on 100 milligrams. I was kind of just like, can't we just I Uber? I just wanted to stay. Yeah. At that point, I was just like, I need to just sleep. But somehow we I, got I it was, together. I was at Fitz's Airbnb and had, because I didn't go to the party. So mm. I, I was perfectly rested. I woke up in the morning. I had some breakfast. And I was like, I wonder why Fitz is taking so long to get up. And I had no idea. And then I didn't found, found out, <laughs> I didn't find out that Fitz got drugged until like, halfway through the day when we were on the party bus. I was like, oh, that's why he's so, like, fucky today. <laughs> I was pretty... I feel like I was pretty composed, though, all no, things you, considered, No, you were though. composed, but basically asleep all yeah, day. Yeah, I was just like... It's like my, my whole body was asleep, but I was somehow present. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's what it felt like. Yes, you were more exactly present than Fitz. Uh-huh. Mm, for the yeah. start, and then I just... Fitz was coma. Yeah. Well, I just you had a blanket. I was jealous. I saw you had a black fucking blanket and shit. We and had like this re- sleeping. We had this ridiculous party bus, which was just not the vibe for me. <laughs> it was blaring music, and everyone was drinking <laughs> four locos. It's fucking <laughs> brothers. The, the four trip locos. to San Diego should have taken two hours, and it ended up taking four because everybody, when we got into the gas station, everyone bought beer. Four locos and just a bunch of alcohol and snacks. And then they just started sinking it throughout the entire trip. We had to make like five bathroom stops. We were 10 minutes Genuinely, away. That's not we an were, exaggeration. We were 10 minutes away from, I think, uh, uh, where we needed to be with Goop. And then, and then they were like, yeah, we got to go to the bathroom. And it was like, are you serious? You can't wait 10 minutes. And they're like, nah. So we had to wait. Had to wait another 30. It was funny. This was like the misfits party bus but all the misfits were just dead and <laughs> everyone around us was just like having a party the brothers I was, were going I was there off. i was there for most of it mm. yeah, yeah you I know was, you were more I awake pre- i was pretty awake but yeah i was just like try some i wasn't even that bothered by it i was just i found a little corner of the bus i was able to kind of black out the music and i just it was like being on the flight again. I wasn't awake nor asleep. I was just in a state of meditation. It was like it was like being on a flight. <laughs> it was like being on a flight to like a lad's holiday. Yeah. Mm. Like Without the Malia, alcohol, like, if like if we didn't have to stop every you know twenty minutes or whatever, uh, and it was just like a trip where everyone was just chilling and having a good time it probably would have been a really nice way to travel yeah like with yeah. that many people would have been fun uh-huh. i mean we went, I mean, it was we went fun back anyway. on it yeah on the party bus yeah as but well, the one that we went back right. on was a lot smaller and that's, less comfortable that's true mm-hmm. mm. anyway we eventually get to san diego and uh i'm still in a state we stop somewhere and then the doors open and all of a sudden, like, Smitty gets on the bus, Cryos Cryo gets on the bus. Oh, yeah. Goop, I was so the confused. Entire, like, the entirety there were so of many people. The entirety none of, of us Goop. knew that that was happening. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, Call Me Carson, Ted, Cooper, Travis, Noah, fucking Schlatt. Schlatt. Everyone. And then all of their friends as well, like a whole bunch of just like people from their circle that, you know, we didn't know, get on this bus. And the bus was pretty full of, like, before they so even got full. on. I think I've got a picture of it somewhere. Yeah. It was a lot of people. There was like 30 was, people in there. Was there anyone like standing or anything? Or? No. It people sitting on each other's laps a little bit. I mean, oh. the bus wasn't like a t- traditional school bus. It was just two rows of seats horizontally. So everyone was facing each other. Oh, so right. everyone was like looking to the side. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, I get you. Um, so, yeah, I mean, and. <laughs> 
this is my first time ever meeting Call Me Carson and and you know Goop and all that, those guys. So their first impression of me was just this zombie. <laughs> 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 but I think you know I kind of held it together, and then you know we find out that we're actually supposed to be shooting a video with them yeah, at the we, San Diego Zoo. Yeah, they all they all pile in and we drive away. And for some reason, I had the idea that we were going to someone's Airbnb. I thought that was what we were doing. We were told that but, we were doing this thing, by the way. We yeah, were no, told I know, that. I know. Yeah, but then we I didn't want to believe it was real. We pull over and everyone's like, "All right, we're getting out here." And then we get out and it's, it's just this enormous zoo. car park. And we're Z. like, oh, oh, oh no. We were at the San Diego that. fucking zoo. Mm. And I had to walk out with my helmet and shit on. I was like not prepared at all. And then there were more people at the zoo. Like James Key was there. Yeah, Raccoon. Oh, no. Raccoon Rack was there. there. It was, uh, JC it DeCosta was, yeah. was there. A few other people that we you know, know from the online world. Mm-hmm. And then Carson does this little like presentation about what the video is going to be, Everyone which was gets, just not planned at all. No, really. Presentation. He brought a presentation. No, he just like delivered a presentation. <laughs> yes, he's kind of like a so presentation. It's, it's a zoo scavenger hunt. Is that the Carson <laughs> voice? Basically, no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is you know several disorganized groups of little people get a camera and we all enter the zoo. And basically, I'm still fucked up. So I'm just treating this as like a nice evening with the lads at the I zoo. <laughs> I'm, wearing a, I'm wearing a nice night helmet, just walking around. Because I went with the helmet through the gate, the opening gate. And the guy goes, nah, you can't wear that. And I was like, well, no, I have to wear it. And he was like, okay, dude, like, it's not my problem. But if security stops you, they might confiscate it and bring it to the front office. Okay, so I'm just letting you know. I'm like, okay. So I walk through. And we start doing the scavenger hunt thing, you know, and we're, we're doing that for a bit. We're filming it and all that. And then we were like, oh, let's go over to the cable car thing to, like, go across. This was maybe, like, 20 minutes after, like, we did a couple of the things on the scavenger hunt list. Mm-hmm. And then we go over to the cable cars, and we're walking by, and there's this lady uh, that was staffed uh, at the zoo, and she's taking out the garbage. And her walkie-talkie, as I'm walking by, goes, Shh. Uh, please be advised, there's a individual wearing a Templar night helmet uh, that has just entered the premises. If you see him, please uh, radio security immediately. And then she looks up at me. She does this. She goes. Okay. And then I think it was Mitchell. He was like, come on, go, 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 go. And then I loaded up onto the onto the, the, the fucking cable the, car. the cable car to take me all the way across. I'm sitting there in, in, in a night helmet. I'm there with, I think it was Matt, Blarg, my schnoopel, and... Uh, mm-hmm. Me. And, uh, and, yeah, and you. And so I'm sitting there Escaping. completely straight. Like, my helmet is straight on my back. I do not want to lean backwards or to the side. Because if my helmet falls off my head, it's going a couple hundred feet down and it could fucking kill someone. So I'm standing there like What if this. you killed an animal? It's like a, killed like <laughs> yeah. the prize lion. Yeah, like a, like a chimp. Just hits <laughs> like a something chimp. really endangered. There's like only yeah. one left. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Kills a tortoise. <laughs> <laughs> no, That's yeah, but up. it was, uh, we, we get all over to the other side, we all group up, and then we realized that our camera had the, uh, didn't have the microphone plugged in, and then we, once we fixed that, it died. <laughs> the battery died, and Mitchell wasn't with us, and he had the rest of the cameras, so our, fair, our shoot was kind of a bust. To mm. be fair, we, we you kind of just accept, said from the beginning, all right, let's just go to the zoo. Yeah, like, I was like, I'm not going to be good for content. Yeah. I didn't really care. When the camera died, I was relieved. I was like, okay, now yeah. I can just relax and walk around, and it was yeah. a pleasant evening. Well, well, after we were walking around, uh, after the cable car thing, and we... We figured out it was all dead. We were just walking around. A guy came up. Security officer was like, yeah, I'm going to need to take that. So I, I gave him, like, my helmet. I gave him everything. And then he brought it to the front office. And then, yeah, that was pretty much it. Yeah. I think we stayed there for, like, maybe another 30, 45 minutes before we split. Yeah. Then we went back to our air, to our new Airbnb, new Airbnb in San Diego, which was this crazy place. Oh, oh my Lake God. House. It was awesome. It was by Lake the house. water. Wait, you guys introduce it? I gotta pee. Yeah, okay. I gotta pee. I'm gonna go pee. Okay, no pee. worries. So yeah, so it's this place. Um, man, how to describe this place? The way I, my first impression of it walking in was like, a lot of cocaine's been done in this place in the '80s. Easily, one hundred percent. It had this like uh, the staircase leading up to the second floor, as staircases tend to do, which was like <laughs> lightning blue. It was made like out of glass. Blue. It was like yeah, it was made out of glass. Very like vibrant place. Underneath the stairs was a fountain. 
Yeah. They had like, had like a little moat. Up. Yeah, it was like a little little pool. Yeah. Just crystal clear water. It, it was it like, had a pool on the outside of the house that wrapped around the whole house. What the but fuck? it wasn't it wasn't modern though. It felt very much 70s 80s very yeah. like uh what's the term victorian colonial mixed with like modern mansion type i don't shit. know it was like some narco shit you know that's it what had it, felt a, like. it had a tower like a turret like a big tower with a circle bit at the top like 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 a, a castle medieval spire. tower yeah. what the fuck yeah, it was you can fucking, sit up there and shit mm-hmm. yeah, yeah it was dope have, have you seen uh, have you seen the photos staircase. no i haven't mm. i haven't there's there's videos of it i i showed my stream it's pretty crazy like it's um it was a nice place for sure. It was really nice. It was on like a like a man made inlet as well. So there was yeah, like so there was water, there were there were the kayaks painting. and shit. Yeah. Uh, it, it was it was cool. It was uh, like a whole dock with a boat and and we were just a scuff little family moving in. Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> like <laughs> weird um, weird thing. Uh, Fitz and I, like the first house, the first Airbnb we stayed in had a had two pianos. Then the second one had a piano mm. and. Didn't the last one we stay in also have a piano? There are a lot of pianos. This There's trip. a lot of pianos in California. Yeah, <laughs> Do you play bands. piano? I can kind of play piano, but I'm not very good. I think Toby's actually probably better than me. Yeah, really? Toby's pretty talented. Yeah. I, I like learned for a month and then I just gave up and taught myself based on my musical knowledge. Uh, I'm obviously an absolute whiz the ukulele and guitar, so yeah, it translates yeah. pretty easily. Yeah, the ukulele sick. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't think much else happened that night. Ryan was trying to get people over, but I was like, dude, I, I just need a rest, man. This has been a fucked up day for me. There's yeah, no way didn't I'm socializing. Did we have to do a meetup the next day? We did no, the, no, no. Was no, that no. the Twitch A and Z thing? Oh, the, uh, we, had, we had a and lunch. Then we did a little meetup at uh, Gamer Shops. We had a lunch. We roamed TwitchCon the next day for a little bit. Um, and yeah, but that wasn't organized. We was okay. Yeah, but it was still a little meetup. We, we yeah. went to the convention. We went to the Gamer Shops booth. Yep. We chilled out there and. Yeah, had TwitchCon a, was a very cool. Time. It was yeah, a very, tw- co- like, it's probably my favorite convention I've ever been to. Just Same. in terms of how the event flowed, it wasn't too cramped. The people that stopped us were super <laughs> dope and nice and didn't, like, invade our space at all or whatever. It was it was really good. And, yeah, hanging out at the Gamer Subs booth was uh, was good, too. Um, yeah, we're, we're on the next day now. We're on the Saturday, which is the day of the party, I believe, mm. right? It is. Yeah. yeah. Was. At the uh, Gamer Subs booth when we were doing our little meetup, um, XQC and Poke Lols walk past and I think XQC was uh, IRL streaming so I kind of say hello to them and then I'm like to Poke yo am I seeing you guys later and he's like yeah yeah 100% let's do something tonight so I'm like okay cool in the back of my mind I'm like alright cool we're hanging out tonight so this morning uh, we we wake up and we're hanging out and Chris is on the phone and he was talking he was organizing catering and I was like what are you organizing catering for and he goes ah oh, uh, Goop's coming over so uh, you know with Goop with all of Goop and all of their friends, and then all of us and all of our team, it's about 40 people. So we thought, fuck it, we'll just order catering. And I was like, okay. Yeah. So th- there was this, not party, but just like a nice evening planned. And uh, and then that slowly escalated to uh, one of our other friends being like, hey, I'm going to get two kegs as well. <laughs> Which uh, then what's your, what, what are you, what are you figuring out the there, Bugs? What, what's the math you're doing there in your head? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out Saturday. Saturday is that Saturday day. Was was that? Party. Was you were party. with oh, us. I saw Blink-182. Yes. Fuck, that was a good night. Me yeah. and Chad were fucked. Yeah, because mm, you yeah. were ha- you were hanging out with us before the party, doing that shopping, remember? And then you split off, went to the went Blink to 82 the, thing. Yeah, the concert thing. And we did our dinner with Goop, which was very wholesome. Yeah. The food was kind of nice. trash, but it was it was really cool to just meet all these new uh, internet kids, basically, that mm-hmm. are up and coming and kind of new in the space. And yeah. obviously, like I haven't really had a chance yet to properly speak to Carson and the rest of the Goop guys, so... But, I had a really good time at that dinner. But basically, after I heard there were kegs coming, I was I texted Ryan and I was like, "Hey, I've got people that are you know I got people that I know from TwitchCon that I haven't met before. Uh, are there people coming over tonight? And if so, can I invite some people over uh-huh. as well?" And he was like, "Yeah, we're just doing the dinner. Then after the dinner, you can invite some people over if you want." So I think everyone kind of collectively all invited <laughs> people over. Yeah, and then Fitz. Uh, you invited Poke, who then invited a bunch of his friends. Yes, and that's when their friends invited all of their friends, and it was a stream of plus ones. It became a very crazy night. I got to pee as well, but you talk about the Blink-182 concert, because you seemed very excited. Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. How did that go? I'm a huge fan. I've never seen them live. I got this opportunity to see them live. I was freaking out. And then my, like, personal manager in LA was, like, on the way, and then Blink just started and he was like, oh my God, I'm, I'm here, I'm here, I'm outside, I'm outside. So I leave the concerts, go get him. And then some fucking 
bitch at the fucking the the entry wouldn't let me back in she was like once you leave you can't come back in and i was like fenwick you motherfucker you motherfucker because i was like shit i can't go in only you can go in now and i'm gonna miss blink 182 and i'm drunk at this point i'm like fuck i was like really upset so then i don't know how we got in i think fenwick actually sneaked in and then i used his ticket but we both somehow mm. met at the exact same time on the inside i was like <laughs> Oh, wait, you got in. What the fuck? Yes, great. <laughs> and then uh, went back. We're like right at the front. I was, I was with Chad, uh, Smitty, a few others, Cryos. Yeah. It was great. Who's Blink-182? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, you don't know? They're like, uh, uh, they're like Green Day, except like appeal to a wider audience. It's like uh, kind oh, of the like American Pie sort things. of music and stuff like that. Oh, mm. them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shit. That was them? Yeah, they were there. Yeah, so, so Say it ain't con. so. I will I'll not go. go. Turn, Turn those lights off. off. Carry me home. Yeah, those fucking guys. TwitchCon had... It was good. Who played yeah. at TwitchCon? It was Blink. Logic. <laughs> Blink. There was quite uh, a few big names. Well, Lil Nas was meant to be there. Yeah, that's but it. But he, he pulled out. Oh, okay. Who the fuck's that? I, the guy that why, sings... Old Town Road. Oh, I thought that's little Zan and <laughs> no. and Panini. Is it Panini? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah Y2K. Y2K. Yeah. My homie. Yeah. Shout out. Y2K. Was he there? Uh, yeah, yeah. He, he played. He played, I uh, he played uh, TwitchCon, uh, but he was supposed to come to the party, but he never he never showed up. He fell asleep. He was too uh, tired. Yeah, that but was yeah. that was a great. It was actually a really good concert. They did a good job. So a while really you were job. at this concert. Uh, we were at this at the house, and people were slowly coming in, and the party was slowly in. building. But it got there was a point at the night where there was, you know, there's a reasonable amount of people there, and then all of a sudden, like just a uh, people would come in every like ten minutes, and every single person that came in, I'd be like, "What the fuck <laughs> is that person doing at my party?" <laughs> uh, you know, like uh, it was basically everyone that came in knew exactly who they were without ever having met them you know it was uh -huh. just like crazy yeah well i mean we this was our first time really mixing with the streamer crowd you know mm -hmm. we we haven't really i mean <clears throat> you're not new to twitch but i am and i don't know we just haven't been that involved with the twitch community like mm -hmm. irl yet mm. um this whole day i felt really good by the way yesterday i was so dead that i'm really glad that i i think i slept like 12 hours uh -huh, at night same. i was mm. rested the entire day i was like fuck yes thank god i feel normal again yeah, yeah, yeah i yeah. cannot wait to just have a good time tonight i'm um, glad you felt like that as well i felt just the same i woke yeah. up saturday morning i was like fuck yes yeah i'm ready gonna I'm be a ready good day today. it was crushed that day um so yeah i mean i <laughs> I head up Poke, Poke Lols, who's like, uh, you know, I've talked to him on, the, on this uh, podcast before. He's one of my favorite streamers, you know, he's the homie. I was really excited to hang out with him. And I'm telling him like, yo, we're going to do a little party tonight. You know, feel free to come on by. It'll be chill. <laughs> Didn't It'll he bring fun. like 30 people? <laughs> he's like, oh yeah, cool, man. Is it okay if I bring a couple of friends? I was like, yeah, whatever it is. It's chill, you know, sure. Bring some friends. It'll be fun. <laughs> brings it 20 was, friends, he, a fucking group of porn stars, he was sketchy like, guy in a track No, nah, he didn't bring those guys. <laughs> he didn't bring those. I mean... Yeah, he's like, is it okay if uh, Miss Kip and XQC come? I was like, sure, man. I'd love to meet those guys and hang uh -huh. out with them. And then he Soda came. And then like 30 yeah, minutes later, he messages me. He's like, is the party lit? I was like, and the party was kind of just getting started, but it was it was pretty lit. So I was like, yeah, it's, it's cool. He's like, okay, I got like 20 people coming. <laughs> 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 They're all in Ubers. And uh, apparently he was panicking as well because he had no idea. Like he didn't, he didn't really hung out with me IRL before. He had no idea if this party was good. And he had all these streamers come in. Yeah, and they were so all, like a lot was riding on it. And the place was like well out of the way. It was like a twenty to thirty minute Uber for them. Yeah, so far, like, like if they came, it was on like a peninsula. Yeah, so it was like yeah. if they came, like he'd get shit if the yeah. party was lame and yeah, it was high stakes. Yeah, so he was kind of nervous, which I think is why he was messaging. Is it actually a good party? And I'm thinking like that's kind of good. We were having some troubles with the music, but. Other than that, it was a... It didn't really matter, time. though, because it was just nice to be able to talk to people. Yeah, the fact that the music yeah. wasn't blaring was a good thing because that would have increased the chances that her party would have been shut down mm. preemptively by police. Mm. Uh, and also, blaring music sucks in parties, and I fucking hate it. Mm. It's good in a confined space where, like, you can escape from the music. Yeah, but no, I mean, there's, it's good to have one space where the music's lit uh -huh. and then quiet places. It was pretty loud. Chill. It was pretty loud. I mean, we, we, just were, we were on, like, They the were just lake. on a limit. Yeah, it was on, like, a limit. Like, the speakers literally couldn't go any higher because yeah. the fact that 
it's supposed to be like so that neighbors don't complain about the noise. Yeah, well, you, well, you could hear everything. You could hear every like out on the front by the lake. Yeah, you, every, it's echoed. Well, noise yeah. travels across water like crazy. Yeah, it was pretty this length. Wealthy ass neighborhood. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> like, <laughs> in the middle of fucking this random <laughs> rich peninsula like <laughs> south of San Diego. Anyway, streamers just start kind of showing up. Just people just start walking through the door. Um, yeah, I mean, there's some big names there too. All of Twitch. offline TV was there. All of offline TV was there. Soda uh, Poppin, was Miss nice. Kiff, Nim. Uh, Poke was obviously there. Yeah, Pokey you know, came by. Pokey was there with yeah. offline, yeah. which was really nice. I was, um, XQC. I was, XQC. I was mm-hmm. hanging out outside smoking a, a blunt with uh, some of the goop guys. And then uh, Fitz comes up, taps me on the shoulder. He goes, Hey, there's someone here I want you to meet. And I turn around and there's fucking Michael Reeves. And I'm just like, Holy shit, dude. Oh my God, it's you. And <laughs> we like we fucking started talking and shit. And I was like, dude, I have a thing on my bucket list. Can we, can we like smoke a fucking fat joint tonight and just talk about AI? And he goes, dude, I'd love to. That'd be fucking awesome. Hell yeah. Yeah, you guys are very <laughs> similar. You're kindred spirits, I feel. Oh, dude, 100%. I got along <laughs> so well with him. It was like we were long lost friends. Michael Reese, for those of you who don't know, is like a robotics YouTuber. He, he kind of makes like crazy. If you know yeah. him, you might know him as the guy who made the rumba that screams every time it yeah, hits a he, wall. He's, uh-huh. the, he's uh, the, the short gentleman with the, with the glasses and the, and the curly hair from Hawaii. <laughs> he uh, hangs out with William Osmond. Uh, yeah, he's really friendly with offline TV actually, yeah. which is I think how he found his way there. Well, yeah, he I uh, well he did the, the the fucking video where he created like this camera that makes everybody else shorter than him. Mm-hmm. So they he attached these electrodes that trigger uh, trigger your muscle groups and make them spaz out and just contract. Yeah. So he put them to to muscle groups in the leg. So that when the camera goes off, it just fucking shocks them and they fall to the ground. <laughs> so yeah. he would just light it oh, off and everyone oh, would just Jesus. be crumpled like this, screaming. And he'd just be like, yeah, these are good pictures. Smart guy. It was did good. He, he did that Twitter, <laughs> the Twitter bot thing, Yeah, he right? did the Twitter bot thing as well. And it was buying shit? Like, yeah, he was, he was talking to me about it, yeah. Oh, yeah, at the, at the party. And yeah, I was he like, that recently. Was like, a good fucking idea. He's a smart guy. He's got some very, like, genuinely crazy ideas. Yeah, he was like, you're a little mad scientist. <laughs> he was like, yep. 100%. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, One of the... Uh, super like wholesome and cool things about the party I, I said that we had a piano there like a grand piano mm. and it was kind of in the entrance way and throughout the night there was just various people who were insanely good at piano who would just you know they would just stroll up and be like yeah, i'll play a couple oh, songs nice. and they'll just play these like beautiful songs on piano yeah. while everyone else was out there like mm-hmm. getting wasted and it was just such a cool vibe like at some point I, I know one of the goop guys did it I can't remember who it was Drives. he was playing like, Minecraft music it was fucking awesome <laughs> it was like can I request a song he's like yeah sure I go you play Sweden by C418 he goes mm-hmm he just starts playing and I was like oh my god he can actually play and he goes yeah dude I, I tried learning this shit for like a month yeah. and then uh, at another point of the night it was uh, Albert and Lily Pichu playing it together and it mm. was it was just such a wholesome thing it was so cool it was an interesting evening it was yeah. this weird mix of wholesomeness I mean Twitch the Twitch community very much feels like much more of a family than YouTube which 100%. is so much more like disconnected mm-hmm. and wider like mm. Twi- everyone who's big on Twitch kind of knows each other I feel yeah so it was, it was a dope vibe yeah and yeah, apparently, from what I hear from all the streamers, it was much better than the Twitch party. So we killed oh, it. Oh, yeah. We killed it. This fits on the map. Yeah. I and remember we- there was a point in the party where I just went out to my room and I was just kind of like chilling on my bed on my phone because that's what I do at parties. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, I was, and, and I was just kind of like... I, something clicked to me and I was like, I should probably go out and uh, experience this. And I went downstairs and I was like, all right, I'm just going to do like the next thing I see, like the next streamer I see that I know well, I'm just going to like do whatever they're doing. I go downstairs, I see the hot tub and I see Soda, who I love. I see Miskiff, who I love. And I see Nim, who I didn't know, but I was like, he's cool. And I was just like, all right, I guess I'm getting in the hot tub. And I just sat in the hot tub chilling with those it was guys. Streamer and soup. Everyone piled in. Yeah, I streamer that. soup. Yeah, it was, it was so, so many there. fucking people in that thing. Mm-hmm. It was crazy. It was a really, like, the entire night I was just bouncing between like, every single group, just 
like crazy energy. I was a social it, butterfly. I was actually like mm-hmm. pretty sober for most of the night as well. Like I, I really took it easy. For like the first three hours, I, I hadn't drunk or smoke. I was, no, just like, I was, I was polar opposite. Yeah. I feel like if I didn't drink or smoke, I, I wouldn't have mingled as much as I did. Because yeah, about me was just. I like, was at a, a I was mode. at a point like I was talking with the goop guys, smoking a blunt. Then I was drinking and taking shots, and then I, would, I'd walk around and find other people, and I just start talking to them. Mm. I was going through like everybody. Wellen was there. Mm. Wellen, uh, the Rust YouTuber. Yeah, that he is bad. a fucking homie, dude. He is a G. Me mm-hmm. and him were getting along so well we were just fucking like drinking and taking shots and and just talking about youtube and uh like i'd make a joke and he'd laugh and he'd make a joke we were both just dying like just yeah, such like a red romance. in the face dude it's uh, he's a fucking homie dude <laughs> i'd damp him up any day of the week at one point during the night i was up in this weird spire thing with ryan and we were uh one of my friends i just at at twitchcon that day just completely out of nowhere bumped into uh one of my brother's friends so like someone that i've been friends with for a long time because of my brother and uh and he was there and oh, i was yeah. like oh dude no way uh you should come to our party tonight and he's like yeah i'll come to your party so he came to the party and he's sort of in the esports world i guess and there was a point in the night where he was like oh uh you know i was talking to this guy and he was like so interested in the misfits so I was like, oh i'll get ryan let's just let's chat about it he'll be interested and we were just sitting here chatting and um and then all of a sudden, uh, we, we, I go to Ryan and I was like, I think Fitz had just come up. And I was like, what time is that meeting greet tomorrow? It's at two, right? And Ryan goes, no, no, it's at 10. 10.30. And this was probably at about 6 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it was early. Oh. It was early. So we were like. Was, we were this like, was after the party concluded. No, this was, no, during, was, this was going. mid-party. 6 a.m. No, it was, it was like 3. Oh, it must have been like 3. Wrong, but it's still, you know. We, we it felt 10. so late. It was late. Mm. But um, we yeah we we were like oh shit so we we go downstairs because uh, we realized how late it was and we're like alright we'll, we'll give it a couple more hours and then we really got to get to sleep before the meet and greet and as we go downstairs uh, I think was it you that said oh yeah there's people filming porn in the gym yeah to well us. you know the time is a little <laughs> incorrect was, Bucks can Bucks needs to talk me. about this because he was high as a motherfucker and coming up with all kinds tell of me, crazy tell me tell me from the start I wish Kraus and Smitty were here because tell yeah, me they were with me Kraus and tell Smitty me. said that they 100% saw what Bucks saw as well tell yeah, me, tell me from the start me. so there's this happened? group of people that came in and then they had like cameras on them and stuff and I was like the fuck are these guys and I noticed they just like kind of were looking around and then some guy, I think it was the the same guy that I had a confrontation with. I think he was going around saying he owned the Airbnb. The black guy, or right? Was it the black dude? Yeah, it was. A I black had a confrontation dude. with the white dude. The white fucking. Oh, that big fucking that, that, yeah, that big, like, fucking looking asshole. Yeah, 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 yeah. I never but saw I was that super guy. drunk, so I was just yeah, super he was, confident. He was there with like, fucking the sunglasses on, on, Mr. Muscle. Do you guys mm-hmm. know who uh, those guys came with? Who the, I know. Oh, oh gross score? Gross score. Oh, gross score. Oh, 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 yeah. We're never inviting him to a party ever again. <laughs> gross score is a streamer. Did he even get invited? He's a fucking no, idiot. No one got invited. People just found out it was happening and just came. That's the thing about con parties. You know, uh-huh. you, you can't have a small con party because mm-hmm. people just tell each other. If it's lit, they why, will come. Why would he bring those fucking scumbags to our Airbnb? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, would, I don't want to accuse them on the podcast <laughs> yeah, no, of doing yeah. anything because I don't. Really, I never even saw him. I don't think. I think no, he was I, upstairs I saw, doing I saw, I saw naughty I things. I never saw him. I never saw him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing at uh, all. Nothing at all. One way or another, this particular group of... Uh, should I talk about Hooligans. the confrontation? Yeah, individuals okay. came to our party. So this group of individuals came, and they brought these like two girls with them. And I was looking at these it girls, like and I was like, "It was like fucking six. Well, they did probably yeah, was, more. But the two harrow. girls that were like being filmed in the end, I could just tell. I was looking at them. I was like, "Yeah, they're fucking porn stars. They're fucking porn stars. I've seen this shit. Yeah. I know how this goes." And they all went up and they went to like this gym room. Yeah, that had the yeah, only we had like, a public sauna, bathroom we had in a it. Sauna and gym, and there was a bathroom. Uh, in that room, which is where we were directing people to go because uh-huh. there was one bathroom downstairs and everyone was using that. And we were like, we'll open that one. Because all the other bathrooms were in our bedroom, but we didn't want any yeah. fucking people mm-hmm. we didn't know yeah. to go into our rooms. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think there's there's a lot of porn stars on Twitch. I wonder if they were Twitch streamers as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, honestly, they probably could have been. Yeah. They probably could have been. But um, yeah, they all went to the gym and I was with, I think I was with Kraus and Smith. I was like, this is so weird. Let's go check this out. Let's go check this out. I, I think they're porn stars. And they're all going in this room. They had cameras with them. And I was like, the fuck? They're fucking, oh, they're filming porn. They're filming porn. <laughs> so I go in. 
and there were so many people in this room and i immediately was like oh shit this is a bad idea i don't feel comfortable mm-hmm. but i asked the guy anyway i was like and kraus and smitty were right behind me like smitty here and kraus here and i walked up and i was like hey what do you, what do you uh do you, do you know the uh you know the owner do you know whose party this is he's like yeah 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 and i was like who and he's like uh yeah no the guy downstairs yeah no we've met him we've met him he's cool yeah yeah and i'm like so you know who the misfits are and he's like uh he he just had no fucking idea he had no he was just running completely off whatever yeah so i was like so like what do you what's going on here and he's like what do you mean what do you mean what's going on Mm -hmm. and i'm like are you uh are you filming anything right now and he's like what do you mean are we filming and it's just he was just fucking with me i was like i was like dude okay i'm gonna be straight with you I know you're filming porn. I don't care if you're filming porn. Good for you. I think it's cool. Great. Awesome. And Smitty and Kraus are behind me at this point. And they're probably thinking, fuck. Yeah. Fuck, what's he doing? What's he doing? <laughs> and we had this like back and forth. And it just got super uncomfortable. This guy was like, I don't know. I don't know if he had a problem with me or if I had a problem with him. I was kind of fucked up. Yeah. We ended up just like splitting, splitting pretty mutually. Was this? The I figured thing? out. I got ans- I got the answers I wanted, and I was like, "Okay, cool. Fuck it. Go ahead. I don't care. I just wanted to know. It's pretty cool." And he's like, "Yeah, thanks, man. Okay." And then we left. As soon as I got out the door, I was like, "Fuck, fuck. Yeah, Should have done that. That was a bad idea." Then you got bad me. Idea. You 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 fucking oh, yeah. had me on the show. He comes <laughs> the, down. He's <laughs> like. It's like they're fucking filming porn upstairs, and I'm in the middle of like a conversation, like <laughs> no, no, with I a fucking it, beer yeah. in my hand, and I'm like, "What? They're filming who? Who?" And then, so I was like, "Okay, well now I got to go upstairs." And then Chad is like uh, b- behind us, and he and he's talking about it. But before he comes up, I go upstairs with I think it w- was you was it or it well, was this, just cry I, eyes. I, I went out, I went out the door with Spitting Cries, and I was like. I, I was kind of annoyed at that situation because it got confrontational for yeah. no reason whatsoever. Because the guys, well, were those, like, guys were, oh, those guys were those guys were fucking hooligans. Those guys were fucking. Yeah, so assholes. as soon as I got out the door, I was like, "Fuck this shit." They're filming fucking porn. There's porn being filmed right now, and everyone was like, "Porn, porn, porn." Well, and I think you came. Was he? It was well, me. It was me. I think Swagger yeah. must have told us. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, well, I caught. I just remember it. you going straight into the room. I was like, "Don't go in there." Well, was, Don't go in there. After, like, I'm going in there. That was after I had gone up. <laughs> Uh, cause you tapped me and I was like, oh really? Well, I'm going to put a stop to this. Yeah. And so I walked upstairs <laughs> and fucking, uh, I think it was cryos and Smitty followed me as well. And we go up and, and the, 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 the black guy with the bandana and the, and the camera, uh, he was holding our Airbnb pamphlet, which came with the house, uh, because the house was, uh, was, was like open house. It was like for yeah, rent, open house. you yeah, know, that for was li- it. you know, it was mm-hmm. like to be bought. So th- there was that he had fucking grabbed that, that slimy little bastard grabbed it from the, ba- uh, from the bottom, bottom floor, brought it upstairs and he was waving it around. And as I'm going around, uh, up the stairs and around the banister, he goes, yeah, it's my house guys. Don't worry. Like it's mine. It's all cool. And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> I was like, I was like, Hey man, like, like what's going on here? He's like, Oh, Hey, I was like, who are you? Like, what do you do? He goes, <laughs> he goes, Oh, I'm the D. DJ. Yeah. Ryan hired me to DJ. I was like, Ryan hired you to DJ? And he's like, yeah. I go, I'm hearing shit that you guys are filming porn up here. What <laughs> what, what the fuck is going on? He's like, what? He's like, no, dude, we're not doing that. And and he goes, he goes, I'm just a DJ. I was just working as a DJ. And I was like, okay. And he was really convincing this fucking, was, this was, fucking was, silver tongue. Yeah. Fuck. I swear, didn't he convince you that they weren't filming porn? And yeah. he went out and they're like, they're not, fil- they're not filming no, porn. No, 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 no. That wasn't me. <laughs> I, I was like, okay. So, like, I was like, okay, sorry. You know, and, and, I, and I went over and I was like, I have to double check. So I open up the door that was supposed to go out onto the balcony so I could go find Ryan. Sam was there. I go, hey, did Ryan order a DJ? And Sam goes, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, I think he's a DJ. And that guy was on cue with the music downstairs. And I was like, okay, all right. Then then Bucks is full of shit. He's just freaking out. He's high. <laughs> and then Ryan comes down and I go, well, let me just double check. And then I talk to Ryan and I go, did you hire a DJ, Ryan? He's like, no, I didn't hire a fucking DJ. I go, well, Bucks thinks that there's some guy shooting porn and he says he's a DJ and he just goes, wait, oh, then they must be shooting porn. And I was like, oh, and okay. The whole time I was like, I was trying to convince, I was yeah. like, they're filming fucking porn I, in the gym. And then, and then you go upstairs out. and I'm behind you and Sam has the camera and then you well, recorded no, the interaction. No, the, the, like, I feel like everyone's timelines are mixed on this because we were fucked up. But like, I definitely went up there on my own accord. You saw tit, right? I, went up I, was, there. I was behind you. No, I went up there before that. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, which is when I saw the titty, which is when I saw like what was mm, going on for titty. myself. <laughs> I don't even think I was aware 
of what was going on. I was just kind of like, you just thought, I was just, tits out. I was always walking around and doing stuff. So I went upstairs at some point. I was like, what's going on in the gym? I went over to the gym and I walk in there. No, and I like, told you and I was like, don't go in there. Don't go in there. And you're yeah. like, I'm going in there. Uh, and he just walks I, straight I in. On. And the next thing he comes walking out, he's like, I just saw tits. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, just saw I walk in and there's, <laughs> the, there's the black guy with the camera. And then there's, I look to my left as I walk in the door and there's two girls there and one's in a bra and one is like just taken off her bra and her titties are out. And I'm like, holy fuck, like this is a situation. What is going on in our Airbnb? What is this party escalating to? And I just back out and I go to box. I'm like, yeah, titties yeah, are in there. Like, what is happening? <laughs> and then I think we kind of, we grouped up or something. We went downstairs. Yeah, we kind of got it together. You went up with Sam with the camera and I went behind yeah. you. And then you started confronting them like, hey, you filmed a porn. And the guy was just playing it so cool and just like, nah, no, what are you talking about? Well, he was getting nervous. I was like trying to fuck with him because at this point I was like, this is hilarious. I didn't even like realize that it was mm. maybe a serious That's situation. That's how I was treating it. And then the guy got super confrontational. I was like, but yeah, I was like, this is fun. Like, this will be some content. So I'm like, Sam, get the camera. Let's fucking go upstairs. I walk in there. I start kind of jabbing at him, poking fun. I'm like, what's up? Hey, buddy, what's, what you doing? Like, what's happening? He's like, oh, I don't know what we're doing. I'm like, you're filming a porn in our Airbnb <laughs> for any chance? He's like, I don't, I don't think I know what you're talking about. I can't remember exactly what the dialogue was. It's all on camera. <laughs> well, yeah, it's on camera, which we lost, but hopefully it has Which been, we found. Well, but we don't know if the footage is still on it, but hopefully we will be reunited with our camera soon. Apparently. Mm. You heard about that? Yeah, it got yeah. lost, and then like two weeks later, the Airbnb. It was literally today, today. we uh, we got mm. the message the day of uh, recording this that they did find it and that they were but it's going same. to send it back. Hopefully, hopefully. The only thing hopefully. is, like, I'm I'm hoping we can just get somebody from San Diego to go down, pick it up, and then just get the footage, put it on Drive, just so we have yeah. that backed up. Because I'm yeah. worried that it's going to get fucked up in yeah. transit. We still don't know if the footage is recovered, but hopefully someday you guys will see footage of what happened because we did film a lot of it. Mm. Um, Anyways, like this is a situation, obviously. And at some point in the evening, I, I think I kind of just after this confrontation, I just walked out and was like, Ugh. well, Chad went upstairs and and pretty much got them all to go downstairs. No, but before this, there was this weird conspiracy moment where I went like Bucks was actually freaking out and he got me, Chad, Kirsten and Jeremy. And we all went into my bedroom, which is on the top floor. And no one else was in there. Oh, for like a little group And huddle. we had this little group session in there yeah, yeah, privately. Yeah. And Bucks was like trying to convince us that there was some really dodgy shit going down. You had there a was, very no, bad There was feeling. one really shady character just walking around. He was completely alone. He wasn't with anyone. He was just full tracksuit, hoodie. Like, I don't know if he had a beanie on, hood up. Mm -hmm. And he was just on his phone. And he had his head fucking down. Like, you couldn't see this guy's face. I didn't see this guy's face once throughout mm -hmm. the night. He was just walking around with his like, hood down on his phone constantly. Like, looking around everywhere. Like, not talking to anyone. Not looking at anyone in particular. Just like... Looking around the house. What mm -hmm. a fucking and I was like, weird kind Yeah, of I was like, this guy's fucking weird. This guy's sketchy. He should leave. Well, the, the thing, like, I think for future, if we ever throw another big party, is that we need security. Yeah, we need someone at the we door. Need, we need people that, fuck it. that are the, big, that can beat the shit out fuck of people. That fuck that. Shit. We got a great we story like out of this. <laughs> we're, we're upstairs and Bucks yeah, is nothing like, bad happened. Bucks is saying, in case there is something to that degree that could happen, it would have been more comfortable if we had people that could just you know, crack some heads and toss them out. That's why we got you swag ourselves. Well, I almost did. Uh, that's what I'm for. You would have got the dog shit man. kicked out of here. No. Well, Swagger well, actually man. believes that he could have beaten these guys no. up. One well, day I, had, I had Jordan and all the guys behind me. It doesn't matter. Uh, no, no, I would have curb idiot. stomped their fucking head against the you, But Swagger, you always go in this like alpha mode where you're like, you actually think that you could have like, done guys, something. Dude, I, dude <laughs> they didn't do anything. They weren't going to do shit. I can touch on this. I can touch. I can explain this. If you tried to fight them, they would have destroyed you. Let's go to it later, all right? Because we're talking about the thing this little conspiracy session yeah the only person that believed me that also saw it was kirsten mm, she was like oh my god I've, I've seen him too like what is he doing what is he doing like why is he here who is he with like why is he just looking around everywhere yeah and then i was under the impression that like oh he's like premeditating something so like he's checking the house out he's checking for like Casing ways it. in ways out he's probably gonna get someone to fucking come and clear the shit out of it when yep. everyone's asleep or something like that you know yeah because that shit happens a lot and especially in la and that's always what you happens said. you said that to me and yeah. i was really high and at first i was kind of kidding around and then i was like oh this is actually scary because i'm sleeping here tonight yeah yeah, yeah, like, yeah. what the hell is going to happen if we get robbed tomorrow or something <laughs> and i i can't remember how that got concluded chad was freaking out 
because uh, he was didn't Chad get him to leave or something? I well, can't towards the end of the night, Chad was primarily responsible for clearing out the party. Dude, the it was party. fucking yeah, hilarious because yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm chilling there with another beer, and Chad just comes down the stairs. You know, he comes from the front door, and he just he's shirtless with shorts on, <laughs> waving his arms. He goes, "Guys, owners here, owners on the way. We have an ambulance coming. The police are being called. We need everyone to leave." And then, dude, the, the fucking all those sketchy people just fucking shot they up shot and out. went right out. Well, <laughs> not before. I was approached by one of the porn stars. Uh, <laughs> Wait, you what? Yeah. Like, Wait, f what did they ask? Well, I think that even uh, when Chad was clearing out the party, they still lingered for quite a while yeah. in the living room. And I was kind of standing there just watching the show, like, okay, people are leaving. This is cool. Looking at the absolute carnage that was this house. Oh, my God. Um, oh, God. And one of those girls comes up to me, and she just taps me on the shoulder. She's like, hey, um, so my friend over there, do you like her? I was like, nope <laughs> she was like oh because like she would like love to go upstairs with you and i was like nope <laughs> i was like i am not nope. participating in that after what just happened dude that's free syphilis that is free syphilis and i green was dick if you went there i was not looking dick. to cop that i had a meeting greet at 10 a.m i ain't trying to fuck no goddamn porn star um Regretted actually, but you know, you live and learn <laughs> next time. <laughs> Eventually, Chad clears them out. I yeah, think they, pretty, they were all pretty much hanging out outside. Yeah, we had our one friend, uh, Mike. Uh, he got really fucked. Really, really. Is that he, the guy he, that like passed yeah, out? Yeah, I didn't even he, know who the he, fuck he, that guy was. I, I know who he was. He was a YouTube friend. Uh, uh, he, was he a YouTuber? Uh, yeah, he yeah. was one of Ryan's friends. Uh -huh. Yeah. He was just so kind of dead. He he drank probably half of a handle of uh, of whiskey towards the end of the night after he was already really drunk. Uh, he took bites out of a styrofoam apple someone handed him, and he thought it was real. <laughs> and <laughs> he, chewed, he chewed yeah. and swallowed about three times, three mouthfuls before. Like I was like, "Dude, that styrofoam!" And he looked at it, and he was like, "Oh my god." And then uh, he pretty much just got really drunk. He passed out. He went outside. He threw up all over the, the front deck. And he was pretty much like just in the recovery position, passed out. You know, because everyone's drunk. Everyone's intoxicated. No one wants to take this guy uh, who had just thrown up outside, inside, because you don't want to knock his head against the, the door frame or hurt him. And he's just fucking chilling. And it was, it was beautiful fucking 70 degrees out, light ocean breeze. He was he was as comfortable as he could have been with a with a fucking <laughs> towel under his head in the recovery position. You just wait an hour and yes. then he'll get up. We had people watching him too, so he was just outside, really fucked. And uh, so I go outside, make sure everyone's leaving the party, and those fucking hooligans are chilling you keep outside. Calling them hooligans, is, and is it's that so when hysterical. you had the confrontation? Well, yeah. <laughs> you tell how you tell how bad Swagger is about this. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, uh, I was pissed off because he was filming you. Know, you there wasn't was, he? No, he wasn't filming me. He had his fucking phone out, and he was filming my friend Mike, who was passed out. And and I go. Dude, that's my friend. What are you doing? Yeah. Why are you fucking filming him? He goes, oh, dude, it's content. And I was like, it's not fucking content. That's my friend. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. You're just going to film people pass out at a party? That's fucked up. And he's like, oh, he's your friend? Then why are you leaving him there, huh? Why are you leaving him there if, if he's your friend? And I was like, well, he's, he's fucked up. I'm not going to bring him inside. We have people watching him. That and was he was an asshole, dude. He was an that asshole. And, 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 and he, and he was, yeah. and he was fucking, dick, he was pulling up so his fucking, his, his saggy ass fucking pants and going like, dude, you don't want this pressure, bro. You don't want this pressure. I'm like, what are you going to do? Like, what are you going to do? Take a fucking walk. Go down the fucking street and fuck off. You, the party's <laughs> over. Catch a fucking Uber. He's like, you don't want it's this the pressure. And I was like, keep fucking talking. It's the, it's the Swagger Souls mad in the Polish strip club energy. That's yeah. what this is. Dude, I was... Dude, I, 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 about I to was put his fucking... Elbow, he was gonna so, I was so upset. No, but I was, in, I was ready fairness, to just like, fucking let it out. In fairness, this guy is clearly a total asshole. Like, he deserved an ass kicking, dude. I would have loved to bust his fucking jaw. And you would have... Been destroyed. <laughs> no. nah, mm -mm. Put the helmet on. I think you would have had a chance. You don't understand, dude. You haven't seen me fight. Uh, I've scrapped. For, yeah. You're a never fucking seen idiot you fight. if you think you exactly. know no, I would. I would have been able to bounce his head off the concrete. American and ego. American Dragon's ego. American die ego. One day. No <laughs> logic. <laughs> Any logic. <laughs> Too many video games. You know what? We we needed Gatsby. Yes. Yeah, we did, we dude. Gatsby, no, we even real... Gatsby would have got his shit kicked in. No, no, Gatsby, yeah. Gatsby actually yeah. can't no, fight. Dude, those guys can't. Those guys weren't going to do anything. They were fucking pussies. <laughs> they weren't going to do shit. It yeah. doesn't matter. No, they were charlatans, 100%. Anyway, that was kind of the end of the evening. A bit of a sour note, but also kind of hilarious. I mean, yeah, pretty hilarious. We, we got our guy back inside, by the way. He he woke up like an hour later. We put him on the couch. He slept there. The morning, the morning we did the meetup, dude. 
Uh, we walk downstairs. He's just chilling there in the blanket. And I wake him up. I'm like, hey, are you alive? And he's like, mm, mm. <laughs> and Everyone I was, lived. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, what happened? I go, well, you threw up last night and you were covered in your own vomit. And he, and he goes, what? And he looks down. He's like, oh, oh. And I go, yeah, dude, it's no worries. We'll call you an Uber. You'll go back to your Airbnb. Just shower. Change clothes. You'll feel better. He goes, okay. And that's what happened. We went to our meetup, uh, which we didn't have the, uh, the location for. I uh, did not have the location but for. We thankfully, as we were walking through the convention center, a little, -year -old. Lost, <laughs> a little kid comes up to us. And he's like, hey, you guys are late for your meeting, greet, right? We're like, yeah. Where is it? Yeah, where is it? He's like, this way, guys. I got you. This little fucking kid is actually like escorting us. Yeah, he's like Twitch pushing on. people out of the way and shit and like getting us in. And <laughs> we get to our meetup. Uh, it was pretty well organized. Well, we weren't together for it, which was a bit weird. It was one table, which was where I was, and then one table where Fitz was. There was two separate lines. It was, was still pretty though. cool. It was yeah, awesome because they'd come up and it, it was way more personal too. You know, I, I liked being more personal, like when it was a one on one with meetups, because usually in meetups, I'm just sit, sitting there and just they're going down the line. It's way more impersonal because you just got to get through the people. But when it's one on one, you, you can you can do a lot more and it's mm -hmm. it's more wholesome and it, it just means more. It was nice. It was a very TwitchCon was very well organized. It was oh, a very was nice very convention. Good. We had a great time there. And I mean, that's kind of that's kind of the end of what happened mm -hmm. at TwitchCon. <laughs> when, when we got back, dude, uh, I don't know if you were there for it, but I. Uh, we're chilling outside. It was at, right after the party. Ryan and everybody is, is, is chilling out back. And this lady knocks on the door and opens the door and walks through. And she's got a little clipboard in her hand. And she has this nice sundress on. Looked like she was maybe about 45, just kind of gandering through. And I go, hi. Party was and, still a complete yeah. mess. Well, I go, I, mean, I go, hi. And she goes, hello, are you Ryan? And I was like, Nope. nope, he is right there, and I just walked right the fuck away <laughs> because that was the owner. Yeah. I think Fitz mm. and I were both in bed. Yeah, I think point. you weren't, dude. She she walks through like Ryan's like, oh hello, and he walks in, and she just she's in the middle of picking up. It was a cigarette butt off of the off the of the fucking carpet, oh. and it was just disgusting. And she puts it in a, a sticky fucking solo cup that was sitting on a glass table that was covered in liquor like oh. completely soaked and the house this was a sunday morning the that yeah the house was mm. a fucking mess and Fuck. and she just goes did you throw a party uh i had reports that people were jumping off the balcony into the pool that people which were sliding happen. down the glass banister which, which that, that was exclusive, that was exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> um and 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 he goes, well, it was a business dinner with about 30 people, and it kind of turned into a party. But don't worry, we're going to clean it all up, blah, blah, blah. Well, she and, wanted to kick him out, right? Well, she was, you know, he goes, he goes, like, look, if you want to kick me out, like, I get it. But there really isn't much of a point now because, like, you, you know, it. we're just going to clean it up, uh -huh. and, and it'll be in tip-top shape, et cetera, et cetera. We've before. And then, and then he goes, you know, it, good news is... Um, you, there was a open an open house inspection uh, by uh, by a family and uh, <laughs> intern Chris had uh, had 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 done a, a house tour for this for this rich white family while we were at uh, TwitchCon uh, before the party on Saturday. Just showed them around. And he showed them around, gave them the best tour of their life, and they were like, "Oh, okay. Well, we're going to put down an offer." And uh, when he told her that, she was like, "Oh, well, you know, you could probably get a commission if if they actually do buy it." <laughs> and uh, which, which would be pretty fucking sick. Ryan used to be a real estate agent, so his yeah. eyes just lit up. Yeah, but they were pretty. <laughs> but they, they they talked about it, and uh, and and I talked to Ryan afterwards. I go, you know, well, what's the go? And he goes, you know, she wasn't angry. She was just really sad. Yeah, she, was upset. she was just really. It was sad. a pretty sad sight. Oh, it However, was. However, <laughs> sticky. The whole. It was sticky. There was a. Was like, there were two oh, empty oh, kegs. Oh, there was broken. There step. was broken glass. There it, was a. There was a Minecraft Steve head that was just fucking stuck somewhere. It could have been worse though. Bush. Nothing was actually broken. Yeah, broken. broken. No, no, yeah. A couple was, glosses, yeah, but no couple like. There was no. Was no damaged property. People partied, but they were respectful. Yes. Yeah. Apart from the assholes. Well, someone stole my fucking jewel charger. I no want one cares about your jewel charger, fucking swagger assholes. souls. Um, no, uh, we were trying to get cleaners. We couldn't find any. Uh, so intern Chris and Manuel, they were kind of thinking like, oh shit, maybe we have to do this whole thing ourselves. They cleaned then, up a majority of it themselves. They did. And mm -hmm. then Chris spotted the neighbors had cleaners there as they were leaving. And Spanish Chris, ladies. Chris speaks uh, Spanish fluently. And he what? goes up to them and he's like... Wait, I've got to butt in just because Brady... Mm -hmm. Ryan's brother will be watching. He'll be like, 
what the fuck, man? So he he was he went and got like spoke to the neighbors, and uh, then they were like just fluent Spanish. And he was like, uh, uh, Chris, oh, Chris so speaks Brady Spanish. Was the went, yeah, went and got mm. Chris, and then Chris was like. Hola. And then boom, cleaners were over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just paid him like 200, 300 bucks to, to mop and sweep. And, I think it, was, it wasn't it just a financial transaction. He also offered them the rest of the keg outside, which they oh, were very yeah, happy about. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, he said, he, he, I'm pretty sure he said any of the alcohol in the house you can take. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because they were like, what geez. the fuck are we going to do? <laughs> yeah. 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 So nice. they were a huge help and they made the kitchen pretty spotless, which was oh, kind of was... a war zone because that's where all the liquor was kind of uh, it was circulating. So it was yeah. my feet. Were we like left stuck. the house. We left the house in a very reasonable, respectable condition. Yes. It, all we, things we considered. Were very responsible. It was a very good it. place. A very good condition. No, fuck, we didn't. fuck you, Toby. It was good enough. It was fucking perfect. It was, it was not perfect. It was the cleaners were only hired to, hire, to clean the kitchen. We didn't and say the perfect. Room. We said reasonable Swag condition. Perfect, given the circumstances. But, yeah, no, it was okay. It but was we good. we left before like it was done. Plus, mm-hmm. the Airbnb has a cleaning fee anyway. Like it's never yeah yeah like, yeah spotless. When I'm you surprised leave. all the the paddle boats and the kayaks and that like jungle boat that uh, was on this house had a dock. Yeah, dude, the, the kayaks. They had like a, a fucking jungle boat, like kayaks, fucking. Me and Bucks went kayaking, yeah. dude. That was that was I think when that was that, that the was... day after the party. That was on Sunday when we all went out for that dinner. Because mm-hmm. me and him, we go out onto the onto the lake and we're we're paddling around and it's it's sunset. we we uh, he goes out into the middle and we film this bit where he goes out with a bong, he rips it, and then I paddle really fast over to him. I grab the bong, I rip it, and then I uh, and then like I paddle away really fast. It was like the bit. And so he rips it and then I rip it, dude. I I I can't do bongs anymore in LA <laughs> because it fucking destroyed me yeah, it was indica it was, dude it, and it yeah. fucking made me so tired and so zombie but man we were i we burned were, my, i got a third degree <laughs> burn on my thigh because it was so windy that the lighter wouldn't work so he we got the blow, a blow torch. torch and i was blow torching this bong and then he I turns turn it, it off, off puts, puts it, the bong in between my legs so i'm like hope balancing it and i'm kayaking and then then I don't know what happened, the but it, it, jolted, it jolted forward and the metal just touched. My leg was wet. The and metal of went, the blowtorch went oh my God. on my thigh and I was like, fuck, yeah, fuck he was, that. And I was, fuck and I was like, I oh, just like put some water on it because the water was cold, but it was probably yeah, contaminated. Well, it I was so, it got so cold so fast. I was freezing. And it oh yeah. I didn't notice it, got it until like two days later and I had this like black fucking mark on my thigh yeah, it's it was like pretty rough really really bad i've got a picture of it it's gnarly it really really bad but nah dude it was it was it was a lot of fun it's just we were just baked kayaking and then we went out to the dinner with everyone it was it was super wholesome we had a very i mean this was a very like nice place and all things considered we had a wonderful time a wonderful experience. at twitchcon it was a if beautiful we get adventure. if we get that footage dude holy shit that's, really gonna yeah. vlog, that's gonna bro. be a vlog bro that's gonna be that is going insane. to be a vlog because that was the biggest f that was like the the biggest sour note was yeah. the fact that we didn't have the footage and now that there's a chance that we can recover all of it yeah that's that is fucking me- ultra mega super pog the lost party footage dude it's gonna make mm. a good video oh, here's hoping be- pray with us uh, guys, we got to go. We got to go camping with Goop. Um, oh, what we've, time we've is run it? way over time here. We've been Holy rambling shit. on. We, there are a few more stories from this trip, but we can hit them on a on a later day. Uh, but yeah, we got to bounce. We can go for camping, an hour twenty minutes. Camping, camping. Let's All go. All right. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, check out Bucks on YouTube. Yes. Uh, check out Bucks on YouTube. Thanks that, everyone for having me. No I worries. appreciate it. I'll be back next month. Next time we have yeah. a crazy story, you'll be there somehow. Peace, guys. Thanks for watching. See you, motherfuckers. We'll catch you next time. Later.